Here in America, we pretty much take for granted electricity. We use it for cooking, to brighten our rooms, charge our cell phones, power our computers, and for so much more. Well, for 332 villagers in rural Guatemala, that thing we take for granted is now changing their lives. Chad Klaus and Andrew Recker recently returned from a volunteer work trip to Guatemala. Both are from Midwest Electric and traveled with 15 other Ohio Electric Cooperative employees to extend electrical services to residents of La Soledad. Definitely inspiring stories and amazing experience that we're going to hear from now with Chad and Andrew. And, and Chad, let, let's start off with you. Tell us about this village in Guatemala. It's, we're, we're used to some smaller towns in West Central Ohio, but I'm not sure a whole lot of towns that remote as where you went to in Guatemala. Yeah, uh, we were up at the top of the mountain. Uh, the village is maybe uh, two miles wide, two to three miles wide. Uh, but I guess it's kind of spread out more than you would think around here, you know, uh, two miles with houses on top of, on top of each other here. There's kind of spread out uh, what I would consider uh, shanties more than, you know, you would consider a home around here. But uh, very, very, very uh, low poverty. Uh, the, the houses were uh, old. Uh, they did have some new new houses, but there was a lot of old houses there, a lot of people that have uh, put a lot of hard hard work through the years and have made it their own village up at the top of the mountain. And Andrew, I mean, it just, it, it just blows my mind to think that here in 2016, we could be talking about a place in this world that didn't have electricity, yet that is what you were dealing with. Absolutely. They said that uh, roughly 20% of Guatemala does not have electricity, which is hard to believe, especially living here in the States, you just take that for granted that you flip a switch and there'll be something there. Chad, it was about a two week trip that really impacted a lot of the lives. What were some of the ways you saw electricity change these people's lives? Uh, actually seeing the electricity, uh, we were there when we turned it on, but some of the things that they're gonna buy to actually uh, help their lives uh, be easier uh, we didn't get to see the act, that there, but uh, one, one, one example would be the, the 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 main area that we stayed in. The first light that uh, the first night that the lights were on, the kids were playing soccer, uh, you know, out in the dark, which I would say was, is not normal for them. So as soon as the, they saw that the lights were on and they could play in the dark, they the, they went out and played soccer. How much time. educating did you guys have to do to the villagers? explaining what, what this was and what this could mean to them. Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, we actually had an inside uh, crew that took care of wiring the houses. Uh, we all ended up making it there, but there was one crew specifically that had set up their own, I would say, electric code for, the, for that village. Uh, they went in and had to basically train a group of villagers to once we left, be able to maintain the uh, inside wiring of the homes. So we're hoping that us training those uh, individuals, that they'll be able to pass that on to the rest of the, uh, the villagers. And Andrew, I suppose being in the mountains of Guatemala, there probably were some moments where you just kind of take a, stake, take a step back and really just take what you were doing and just kind of take in all that you were seeing. Absolutely. It's, it's very easy to get wrapped up in what you're doing and every once we actually talked about that every once in a while you seem to step back and if nothing else enjoy the scenery it was absolute amazing views you can't even begin to describe what it actually looked like chad i think one of the other interesting parts is uh, la soledad the, the village is now a little bit in a, a higher place than w the fact they have electricity makes them a little bit more of a progressive village than the surrounding areas yeah, when they had uh, learned that they were going to be the village that we would supply power to, there was actually a lot of uh, new construction as far as homes. Uh, they hope to bring, not stores like we have here, but it's going to bring more people to the village uh, as far as uh, residents, which, which helps them out as far as uh, just their day to day. There's more hands to help work, and yeah, so uh, they will. One of those residents, uh, an elderly woman, really made an impact uh, on you and on this entire trip. Tell us about this, this older lady that you guys met. Yeah, uh, one of the crews 
Uh, every evening we had a debriefing that we were able to uh, share stories throughout the day. Uh, one of the crews that was uh, going around when we actually turned everybody on, we had to turn main breakers on in every house. And when they turned that main breaker on, uh, they said the elderly woman uh, w was moved to tears because she was hoping that this time would, would come in her lifetime, but not sure that it would come in her lifetime. So uh, also around her was uh, some of her family. So this, uh, the, the elderly woman, once her lights was on, she immediately went to the houses of her family to be there so that she could be in that moment with them when they got their lights turned on for the first time. Wow, amazing. Andrew, what are you gonna take away from this trip, this experience? It's just a, a humbling experience. You don't realize what you have until you see people that have nothing. Um, it, it's just hard to, to understand. You know, the biggest decisions that we make around here is what you're gonna do for the weekend or where you're gonna go out to eat. We're there, they have to make decisions that quite literally affects their survival. So it, it definitely puts things in perspective a little bit more. All right, thank you very much, Chad Klaus and Andrew Recker from Midwest Electric, back from an inspiring trip from Guatemala.